All right, guys, got another video for you here. It's called the Go Big and Go Home. Not Go Big or Go Home. It's Go Big and Go Home strategy. It's a regressive strategy. We're going to put up 88 inside. Every hit that hits up here, we're going to regress one unit uh, until we get to two units because we're gonna we're pretending we're playing at a, a ten dollar table so four units would be forty uh, twenty dollars on each of these so it'll be 88 total take it all the way down so we hit that third one and then pull everything everything down after that so uh, let's get started go big and go home because if we lose it all we went big and we went home but if we make our three hits then technically we're going home because we're pulling all our money down. We're going to be doing the 3V set, 3632. Standard Uri grip, shooting from nine and a half, ten feet away. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's get started. We bought him with 400. That was 400 that I bought him with. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. It's going to be a seven. Come out seven. We don't. We're not playing passing odds. You can incorporate that in your strategy if you want but since we have so much money on the inside numbers up there uh, you know we want to I want to kind of I don't want to put fucking what 100 and it's 10 20 30 so 110 more dollars out there 120 more dollars out there it's gonna be a three And you can start this immediately. You don't have to wait for the point to be set. Uh, of course, I'm not doing that. I would have lost $88 on that first roll. So I'm not going to be working at all. So if I hit the point, I'm not going to be, and I still have money out there. I'm not going to be working my, uh, my bets. So I don't know. I don't like doing that. So two units on each. Started. It's a nine. Niner. Three six three two three V. Big old bounce. It's a six. It's gonna be twenty eight dollar win for the six right here. And we're gonna regress one unit on each of these. And on that second hit, if we then lose after that, we'll we'll still be ahead. So right now we're we're probably if we lose, we'll be down, or we'll lose like a couple bucks, five dollars or so. You want at least two hits to come out to come out ahead. And the third hit, then you'll regress everything, and you'll be ahead like sounds fifty, sixty bucks or something like that. It's an eight, it's a hard eight. We're gonna win $21 on it. And we're gonna regress one more time. Regress down to the table minimum, because this is a $10 table. Pretty good so far. One more hit. Technically, I guess you could regress down this one, down to this one, hit, take that money, and maybe you keep going. Maybe you, uh, at that point, you um, you start increasing again to four units or two units on each. It's a seven out, so we lost that one. We only made it, what, three rolls before we seven out? Jesus. Not good. I'm gonna load it up again, but we're not gonna be on on the come out roll. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Six one seven. 
my nemesis. Be a ten. Point's gonna be a ten. Hard ten. Throw a couple bucks in that hard ten if you want. And seven out immediately. Gee, I'm gonna leave that up there and I'm just gonna pay myself out. So that 88, so 75, 85, 90, get myself $2. Oh, it's gonna be off. So that was $88 swing, so we're probably down maybe $3, I think. Definitely not what you wanna see. Whatever, sometimes it goes that way. Points off, numbers aren't working. Seven. Doesn't mean nothing, we don't, we weren't working. Seven again. Thank God we weren't working. We lost our bankroll. Nothing but sevens here. What's going on with this? Four. Got our point. Let's hope for no more sevens. All we need is three hits. You know, it can't be that hard to get three hits, can it? Nice if we had a good roll. Six, gonna be $28 win. That's the first hit. shooter six there's our hit it's gonna be a $14 win and we regress we tell the dealer take all our money down it's gonna be a lot of work for the dealers if you do do this So, you know, make sure you tip them and all that. We're going to wait till that shooter sevens out. Wait for the next one. And we're going to go back up four. Numbers are off. Three, six, three, two. It's going to be a two. Deuce ball. As I like to call it. One, one. If you were on three-way craps, that would have been 30 to one. But we are not on three-way craps. It's a 
12, three way craps again. If you were to parlay that two, that's what? It's one, if you had $5, so I guess $6 here, it would have been $90. Parlay it up, that would have been 30 times 30. Whatever the hell that is. Can't do math right now, 900 or something maybe. Three again, Jesus. Wow, three red craps again, three in a row. I did, uh, when I was in Vegas, we did do that one time, but I didn't have, usually I'll throw like $3, so it's one on one. And I won't parla parlay it up all the way. I'll just double it. And there was a person that hit three three-way craps in a row. And uh, I didn't have very much money on it. I had $3 and then $6 and then $12. And then, that, I mean, that doesn't pay what you could have had. If you would parlay it, just keep, you know, keep parlaying it up until you're, until you got a decent-sized win. And you can catch it, you know, catch a good, catch a good throw. Quite a bit, quite a bit of money. Seven. Not making, not making any numbers here. I may start doing that. I mean, it's only three dollars, right? You put three dollars on there. You hit a two or twelve. It's thirty bucks. Parlay it up immediately. And if you hit the two or twelve again, it's three hundred dollars. It's a pretty decent win for three dollars. You can leave 50 bucks out there, or, or I guess you can't leave 50, just, you know, 60 bucks or something out there. Try to hit it one more time. It's a seven. Just need to hit a number. Jesus, three. Come on, can I hit a number? My throat is so shitty right now, I can only hit three-way crap numbers. Ten. Meanwhile, everybody, if all those throws, everybody would have been losing on the pass line. That's funny. We probably threw like four craps in a row, or four craps total. Would have been losing hell of money. We only won. We only hit one seven. That would have been shitty for all the pass line players. Plus, if we hit a seven here, we point seven out. Oh my goodness! We might be thrown off the table. It's a four. Three fucking hits. Can't be that hard to get three hits, can it? It's a yo. Not what we want to see. Let's see those inside numbers. Inside, inside. Five, six, eight, nine. Don't want to waste these throws on shitty you know twos and twelves and threes it's an eight it's gonna win twenty eight dollars and that in reduce all these one unit we got two more to go two more hits and we take everything down five three eight These next two hits, let's get let's get some numbers here. Eight, hard eight. It's gonna win twenty-one dollars. We're gonna regress again one final time and then we pull down. golden 
eight. Throw station, come on, go, do something else. It's probably bad luck. Oh, another eight. Three eights in a row, all right. Fourteen dollars. I wonder if it's better, is it better to progress than regress? It's a question for you guys. Would you rather put up one unit on each? You know, the, you know like the, uh, I think I have a couple of videos on 66 inside where you press up three hits, boom, 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 and then you regress everything, but you're not risking as much money. You're only risking 66 inside versus here you're risking, you know, 66 inside which I guess is only $12 less than what you do but um, and you don't pull down until the very end after that on that third hit then you pull down whereas here we hit a number take the money we won pull down one unit another number take the money we won pull down one unit and then at the end pull it on that third hit then we pull everything down but is it better on the third hit to have these maxed out you know, at thirty dollars or you know twenty, yeah, I think it's thirty dollars. You need two two units and then pull down right. So thirty bucks on each and then thirty uh, thirty five or whatever on here. Hmm. Have to test that. So we'll wait out the next wait till he craps out. How many minutes are we here? Seventeen minutes. Um, yeah, I guess we got time for one more. So we'll wait them out. Wait for that shooter to seven out. And then just wait for the next shooter. And then put your 88 back up. Come out roll. Three sixes now, three sixes in a row right here. Watch this shit. Three V set. I guess we are doing the three V set, so it's threes and sixes, or sixes and eights all around, so we should be hitting eights. It's sixes over and over, right? There's an eight, good. It's gonna win $28. Bring that in, regress, that's the point, so. Fourth eight in a row. It's three V sets working out. Working out, I guess, huh? Well, the numbers are off up there. Good. I'm, I'm, glad, I was, I'm glad they're wrong. That's a seven. I had a feeling uh, a seven was going to come out. And I was going to turn them on just so we weren't waste, wasting rolls. But. And I see those sevens a lot on the come out roll. It sucks. Three. Yes. Gonna be another seven, three, two, twelve, three. Five. Twenty minutes, so I gotta make these as quick. We got two hits to go. We're already at twenty minutes. Kind of twist it on the other. It's a two.
Three-way craps. I love three-way craps. It's so good. I always throw a couple bucks on there. It's way short. Jesus. Seven out. All right. So that would be the end of the video. Wanted at least one more hit, but we couldn't get it. Let's count it up. I think we're even. close to even. I think we're down, but we're probably close to even. Maybe not. We're ahead five dollars. Oh man. We made it out of there with five dollars. Shit, the fucking god damn it. I mean, why would I lie about a seven? I would lost three seven, but we made a profit of five dollars. Not the best strategy. Not something I would try at the casino, definitely. Unless I knew a dice set that would absolutely work, and I and I trusted, you know, my throw. I think the uh, the other strategy is better. Starting out low and then kind of building up two or three and then pulling everything down within, you know, six or seven rolls when you're playing a short game. Ideally, you want to hit three of these within that six roll, you know, whatever, but we didn't do that this time. I don't think we hit many points either. So if we were playing pass on us, we would have lost. <coughs> <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks for watching.